Now we're going to be multiplying. 8 times the square root of 6 squared. Ah, this is tricky. Don't let it fool you. This is going to be 8 plus the square root of 6 times 8 plus the square root of 6. I don't know if I said that right, so let me say it again. 8 plus the square root of 6 times 8 plus the square root of 6, and we are going to have to FOIL this. So, first outside, inside, last. I'll have 8 times 8, which is 64 plus 8 times the square root of 6 plus 8 times the square root of 6 plus the square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is what? It's the square root of 6 squared. So we're going to have 64 plus you have 8 square roots of 6 plus another 8 square roots of 6, that's 16 square roots of 6, plus the square root of 6 squared is 6. Now 64 and 6 can be added. 64 plus 6 is 70. So our answer is going to be 70 plus 16 times the square root of 6. These are two different terms. They can't be added beyond that. Now, another one. We're going to be multiplying 7 minus the square root of 7, rather, minus the square root of 6 times the square root of 7 plus the square root of 6. We're going to FOIL these, but these are very special first. Let me point this out. Notice that both of the first terms are identical. They're both the square root of 7. So you've got the square root of 7 and the square root of 7 in the first position. You have the square root of 6 and the square root of 6 in the second position. The only thing different about these two is that you have a minus here and a plus here. These have a very special relationship. These are conjugates. So I'm going to rewrite them. When you multiply conjugates, your square root, that is conjugates composed of square roots, your square roots disappear. Watch what happens. If I FOIL these, I'm going to have the square root of 7 times the square root of 7, which is 7. Now, plus the square root of 7 times the square root of 6 is the square root of 42 minus the square root of 6 times the square root of 7 is minus the square root of 42. These two zero out. The square root of 42 minus the square root of 42 is 0. Now finally, we're going to have negative the square root of 6 times positive the square root of 6. That will be minus 6. So what we're left with is 7 minus 6. And what is? 7 minus 6, it's 1. Just plain 1. No square roots. That's because these are conjugates. When you multiply square root conjugates, your middle terms disappear, your end terms become whole numbers, and your final answer will be a whole number. Okay.